Dumbo is so precious, and it's incredible that it's this animated character who never speaks, yet you feel so emotion when you see him on screen. Yeah, I thought he was beautiful. I thought they really, they really nailed it. Because it was, it, I mean, yeah. Imagine the pressure of that. Imagine you work in the realm of CGI and the computer-generated image, and your job is to bring Dumbo to life. I mean, that's so much more pressure than I think any of us cast members could have possibly felt, you know? Well, and I think they really nailed it. Animators, when they are animating a character that's normally human, they're sitting there in front of the computer and um, bringing the emotion to life themselves. Like, they're yeah. actually, if they're sad, they're sad in front of the computer screen because they're trying right. to, like, yeah. get that expression in the human's face. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it is interesting when you say it like that because imagine animating an elephant. Oh, my God. Which, <laughs> and imbuing <laughs> we're not the an element, elephant. And imbuing the element with, with a lot of what we recognize are, you know, human emotions the joy and the mischief that Dumbo um, sometimes emanated from Dumbo and the sadness and the fear and all that, the longing, all that kind of stuff. I really thought, I thought by far the strongest performance in the film. <laughs> now, I'm not a crier in films, but did you cry when you saw this movie? No, I, di I didn't. Um, I've never cried when I've seen it and I've done, no, I'm too close to it probably. But I did, I did find it moving. I did find particularly, as I say, the character of Dumbo and the first time he took flight, I thought it was beautiful, just beautiful. And did you see a lot of images of an animated Dumbo? While yeah, and filming? they had a model. They had a, a, a true to life, as true to life as this could be, but an, a model that was the actual size that Dumbo was going to be so that we could have a spatial relationship um, that wouldn't cut across the animal's body when they put it in after the fact. And it was very close to this and they would bring that in just for physical reference and bring it out but most of the work was done by an actor by the name of Ed who was in a green spandex suit for five or six months and uh, and would come on to this they gave him kind of like stilts that he would hold that would elongate his his arms so that he would have the right kind of degree and proportions and he would run and come in and then nestle his head against you and just seeing him, and it was a green spandex suit, so it was a bit ridiculous, but seeing him do what he did was was really moving. Sometimes you go, oh my God, this might be very, <clears throat> you know, when they actually get the elephant, if they nail the elephant, which I think they did, so. But That's Ed the footage was, that I want to see. I want to see Colin Farrell on set with a little green man it's, up against his It's leg. out there. It's out there. I'll leave it to I you. I won't wait. help you with the digging. I'll leave that to you. <laughs> I'll wait for there. the Blu-ray. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we'll, ha we'll have it on the bonus features. Um, the feather is kind of like a psychological trick for Dumbo, so that way he can fly. Yeah. Do you have your own type of feathers? Is there something that you have that you use, a ritual or tradition that you have before filming? Um, before filming, I mean, it ch not one thing that stood with me through the years, but there are certain things that, yeah, that I I'd be... I'd be somewhat superstitious. I'd, I'd give meaning to things that in and of themselves without my attention wouldn't necessarily have meaning, of course, but yeah. <laughs> I was hoping you'd be like, yeah, I have this specific object. No. I need to have it everywhere. A Ava uses her stones. There are things I travel with, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ava uses her stones, right? Mm -hmm. There are things, there are yeah, things I travel with. Ava told me that she got to do a lot of her own flying. What kind of stunts did you get to do? Horse riding was my was my area of, I don't want to say expertise, um, my area of experience in this. I'd done a bit of horse riding in films in the past, which kind of stood to me because there was, there was some extreme enough riding in this, particularly any time the horses were close to flames, which understandably horses are wary of. Um, and the horse could, could they could get very skittish. Mm -hmm. So that was that was tricky, but it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was a good challenge. There was some <laughs> yeah, there was some some dicey moments. Yeah, I didn't get thrown though. Did I get thrown once? No, I don't think so. That was my next but question. Close. I was like, no, did no, you no. get injured? I don't, no, I didn't get injured. No, but it, it, there was a couple of really hairy moments actually <laughs> that were fun. But where I, it it takes me a good bit to get uh, nervous of physical threat, and there was a couple of times on it I was like, oh Jesus. Hollywood. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there. <laughs>